Hey guys, it's Masters here, and today the rest of the LEGO Ninjago Movie Collectible Minifigure series were revealed. The ones revealed today were Npop Girl, Lloyd Garmadon, Garmadon, Flashback Garmadon, Kendo Kai, GPL Tech, Shark Army Angler, Cole, Zane, Shark Army Octopus, and yeah, that's it for all of the ones that were revealed today. Uh, let's go ahead and start off with the NPOP girl. She's okay. Uh, I like that she has the Unikitty reference, which is nice, and I like that they remolded Harley Quinn's hair into pink and light blue. I think that's cool that they brought that back for something other than the Lego Batman movie. In addition with that little skirt piece, they also brought that back, which is pretty cool. I also like the bear she has, but she's not really that much of a great figure for me. Lloyd just seems lazy to me. It's literally just a generic green ninja, except for he has uh, a blueprint of the green ninja mech dragon, which looks cool. I like that print, but they could have included it with some other figure. Although there are a little bit of bonuses, you know, it's an easy way to get the green ninja with the full on sword, and it does come with Lloyd's hair, so that's nice. Garmadon, this particular Garmadon, I actually really like. It's a slightly different version of Jungle Garmadon because the hat is all black and he has this weapon which we have seen in the books before. I don't know what significance this weapon will have but I do like it. I think it looks cool. It's a good figure and I like it personally. Flashback Garmadon is another one that was rumored to come out. He's okay. I'm not really that much of a fan of it personally. Uh, a lot of other people really like it. Uh, for me, it's just not my favorite. Although I do like that he has that camera. I love his sunglasses and I do like the volcano print that he has. I'm just not really a fan of the figure. Kendo Kai is what it is. It's cool because it's, you know, Kai, but it's also, you know, the most generic thing. What really stands out here is that you get the hair. That's pretty cool. And I like the facial expression as well. In addition, the actual Kendall helmet is slightly different from the previous ones because it has that red ring along with the gold sort of uh, guarding. So that's cool. GPL Tech is also kind of cool because she has that laptop along with the all-important coffee mug. That's, you know, I gotta get it for the coffee mug. She also does have a Batman shirt, which is, again, a nice reference, a little bit of a nod to past LEGO movies, so that's cool to see. She's an okay figure, not my favorite. Shark Army Angler, he's cool. It's nice to be able to get one outside of Zane's tank since that's gonna be about $80, which is pretty expensive, so it's nice to be able to get one in a smaller set like this. Cole. Cole is really weird because uh, he looks nothing like Cole. His hair piece is completely different, so that's interesting. I think that's a new mold, but I'm not sure. He actually has an ACDC reference on his shirt, which is uh, the logo, but with the Ninjagan letters, which is a little bit of a shout out to those apples out there. Uh, I like his boombox. He's, in, he's good, but he's kind of weird. I don't really get a lot of Cole vibes from it, but... Zane. Zane's another weird one because he's got that whole... <laughs> his outfit is just so weird to me, but I kind of like him and I kind of don't. I'm, I'm on the fence with this one because I can't I can't tell if this one's too much. It's, it's good, but it might be too much for me. I'm not sure, but he's got some cool printing. He has that nice backpack and of course you get the hairpiece. Shark Army Octopus. He, he's okay. Um, I love his molding, but it looks like it might actually be molded onto the armor, which would be annoying. Uh, he's he's pretty cool though. I like him and That's it for what we have revealed today. That's uh, that's literally all the figures I think the series is actually pretty solid, but there are a lot of oddballs out there the uh, the Lloyd minifigure is definitely the most disappointing He's he's one of those figures like why is he here? You could have done if you wanted to do Lloyd You should have just done like a different version of Lloyd, like the pajama Lloyd from the trailer I'm not I'm not exactly the biggest fan of that figure either, but at least that one would have been something different. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, see you guys later.